Neoplasms. I really, really, really like neoplasms. I don't know why, but I just do. So uh, what's the difference between benign malignant neoplasms? And it can get very confusing. Uh, but keep in mind, benign is not bad. Malignant is monstrous. You know, it, it's not good. So um, let's look at what we've got here. I've got a couple samples. This this is what I would. I found this piece of. This is actually art. But this is what I would draw on a board when I was teaching, and I'd say, okay, you have all these cells, and let's say all of your cells are. Um, circles because actually plant cells are square if you guys didn't know that from high school or your school but let's say we've got all of these nice little circles and squares and um, they're your cells and they uh, are working well together they're in good format and everything but did you notice some of these are darker than the other ones so they're different okay so let's say all of the normal cells doing their function are the the lighter color but if cells change or mutate they aren't uh, the same as the other cells and they these changed colors so let's talk about this neoplasm is another word for a tumor in general tumors occur when you divide the cells and they grow um, uh, they're growing excessive in the body normal cells grow and uh, have division and it's strictly controlled they know their job and they do it well new cells are created to replace the old ones to perform new functions okay so in other words if you uh, burn yourself you know those cells died and they're taken off and new cells replace them and do the same function that the old cells were supposed to do uh, let's see cells that are damaged or no longer needed die to make room for healthy replacements burns is an excellent example if the balance of cell growth and death is disturbed a tumor may form okay so let's scroll down just a little bit and again think of this picture with the circles and the squares uh, now let's consider the cells they all have a function and when an abnormal cell starts replicating itself and takes space of the normal cells and makes it difficult for them to function then you're gonna cause uh, a tumor Okay, so you saw those dark cells. Let's say that those dark cells, circles, don't work as well as the normal light colored circles, uh, cells. And pretty, and that would cause a tumor because they're not working properly. Now, when those not normal dark cells start replicating themselves, that's a problem. That's malignancy and they'll say they start growing and they're taking over and mutating and uh, they don't work as well as the normal light colored cells they're similar but they're not the same and so therefore the uh, the body can't function as properly as it needs to so we scroll down a little bit we'll see a picture of a dollhouse and this is the most amazing <laughs> description of, uh, of uh, I try to say this verbally when I found this dollhouse this is the best way to think of it okay so you've got this great little dollhouse so that's your body and all of these little uh, uh, furniture and and little people in there that's your organs in your body so now let's take a, one of those grocery plastic grocery bags that you get from the store and we're gonna poke a hole we're gonna push it through one of those windows okay we're gonna shove that in there that is going to represent our um, uh, malignant cells okay now if you just put that in there it can kind of weave its way around the furniture you know the organs and it may not be causing any problems but let's malignant cells replicate themselves and they're invasive they take over so have you ever seen that expanding insulation foam it's amazing stuff but it comes in uh, like a caulk gun so let's let's stick that into that bag from the outside and let's shoot some of that foam in there and then all of a sudden that bag just picture this through a window that bag expanding and pushing that furniture and moving all that stuff around and if it continues to expand it's going to knock down walls so if your organs are the furniture and that bag is expanding and messing up those um, those organs 
and not allowing those organs to work properly because think of your lungs. You put a, uh, one of those uh, a bag in your lung and you fill it with that foam, your lung can't get the air in that it needs and so therefore it causes a problem with that organ. Now, a tumor will cause a problem as well because it takes up space. So again, think of somebody had a, a tumor in their brain. It could be benign and it's just sitting there. It, it can grow, but it's not taking over the brain cells and changing the way they work. It's just like stepping on a rock. It's going to be painful and cause problems. It's not meant to be there. So a lot of times they'll go in and they'll take it out or they'll excise it. And... Um, uh, you know, if it's in a really bad place, they can be complicated. But if it's malignant, it's going to start changing and turning those good cells into mutant cells, and it's invasive and it'll grow. So they not only have to remove malignant, but they also have to uh, usually use chemotherapy or radiation because uh, they're they're just little monsters, they're little mutants, and when they grab a hold of good healthy cells, they take over and change them. So um, that's the difference between benign and malignant. They're both abnormal cells, and uh, benign will just sit there and take up space, which can be very harmful. But once it's removed and excised, it's it's not going to come back. Whereas a malignant uh, tumor is invasive and it wants to take up space and it, it thrives on on uh, growing and changing the atmosphere that it's in. That's the difference between uh, benign and malignant. And now every oh, time you see a dollhouse you're going to think of malignancies, aren't you? I'm sorry to ruin that childhood concept for you. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits go to www.codingcertification.org.